I have a delivery. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We are making lasagna soup again. It is so good and I just decided I wanted it. So I got the stuff delivered. So let's do a little haul. First I just got some duct tape because I needed some. Um, and then I got a big bag of onions, some garlic cloves, tomato paste. So these are all the ingredients besides I got a couple other things like lettuce for a buffalo chicken wrap tomorrow. And then you need mozzarella and some ground beef. I also just got some kiwi strawberry propel because I love it. If I'm not drinking water, I'm drinking propel. It's so good. And then got some chicken stock, chicken broth, I mean, and then also, some more vanilla iced coffee, my favorite kind. Um, and then last but not least, some heavy whipping cream. The total of this was like $30 and then I tipped $8. So that's how much, which is really not bad at all for the whole dinner plus the extra stuff. So I have my little onions container and I'm going to throw all the onions in there. Today I went to the gym, I got Starbucks. I just finished editing a video. What time is it? 6.15. I took the dogs for a walk and then I also cleaned out more stuff. That's kind of what's sitting over there that I'm going to donate to the thrift store. So I'm gonna throw my yellow onions in here. Yay, got my whole canister filled up. Well, we need one of these, so I'm gonna take one good size one right there and put this back in the pantry. And then we got three heads of garlic. Well, I'm gonna restock my garlic with three garlic heads. And I'm gonna use what was in there. There's probably about like seven cloves there or something. It's perfect. So here are all the ingredients you need. You need lasagna, which these are actually little mini lasagna noodles, which are so cute. My mom found these at like a small little market. So just use regular lasagna if you can't find these. Or you could use whatever type of pasta you'd like, honestly. Um, a pound of ground beef, or you could do half a pound of ground beef, half a ground, half a pound of Italian sausage. The last time I made it, I did it half and half, and then the last time my mom made it, she just did a pound of ground beef, so you don't have to buy both. So it tasted the exact same, so I'm just doing a pound of ground beef, an onion, some marinara sauce, parmesan, garlic, mozzarella, heavy whipping cream, chicken broth, and tomato paste. So that is all you need. And if you guys are not following my Steph's Meals Instagram page yet, make sure to do so because I post all the recipes in this little story highlight. So here is the lasagna soup if you want a screenshot. I forgot basil. You need basil too. Okay, step one, chop up your onion and mince up your garlic. Oh, I'm hungry. All I had today was I had yogurt for breakfast. I've been having yogurt for breakfast the past few days. I haven't had yogurt in so long before then, and then I decided to buy it at the store, and it's so good. And I bought raspberries too, so I've been topping it off with some granola, raspberries, and coconut flakes. So it's been really good. It's a simple light breakfast, because I've been going to the gym every morning now recently. And I'm usually not hungry at like 10 in the morning, but I need to eat something before I go to the gym because I don't want to like pass out. So yogurt is like perfect. And then I've been getting Starbucks on the way home from the gym too because it's on the way back. So it's like a little reward for myself and it motivates me to go to the gym because I'm like, I can get Starbucks and then I'll be so motivated to do everything else in the day. And then it was lovely weather. The dogs want to come in. The dogs have been wanting to go in and out, in and out, all day long. <laughs> but it's lovely weather, so we went for a walk. I went for a walk in short sleeves. There they are. Short sleeves. It's been so nice. So, I did all that. And I've been cleaning out all my stuff. I've been just deep cleaning. I've really been in the mood to just purge stuff. 
I just need to go through my basement and all my extra decorations because I don't know. I, I barely used half of my Christmas decorations this year. And I didn't really put out anything for Easter besides a few pillows. So I just want to like go through it all and donate or list on Facebook Marketplace and sell it because... If I didn't use it this year, I'm not going to be using it probably next year. And new decorations and stuff always come out. So I'd rather sell or get rid of stuff now and have space for new things. So it's felt very good to clean out stuff and open up space. Because things pile up quickly. You really have to go through your stuff like every few months and just get rid of to stay organized or else things can pile up. And then once things pile up too much, then it's too overwhelming to go through. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I have my onion chopped up nice and fine. Now we're gonna mince up this garlic. Okay, so I have a lot of garlic. Use as much as you want, honestly. You could use three cloves or more. Um, and then I love using my little garlic chopper. This is in my storefront and I, and I think in the kitchen must have section but it just makes it easy chopping up garlic. Cause garlic is so like sticky. So it's like hard to chop it up really fine. So I like using this. Oh no, it's dead. <laughs> Wonder if I could like use it while it's plugged in. Okay, I have it plugged in. Let's see if it's gonna work. No. <laughs> okay, well I'm gonna let that charge. And I guess we have to cut up our garlic by hand. <laughs> I left some bigger chunks because I love it when you like are eating it and you bite into a big piece of garlic. So we got our garlic and let's start cooking. Okay, I'm gonna add some oil to the pan and we're gonna saute our onion and garlic and add in our ground beef. Onion going in. Yum. I am so excited. This is like a comfort meal for sure. And you know what? I'm not even a huge fan of lasagna. Like, I never would cook lasagna, really. And I never order lasagna at restaurants. But lasagna soup, it's so good. It's honestly just like really saucy pasta, soupy. Because it's not like totally like a liquid, liquefied soup. But yeah, it's delicious. And then we are going to add in our ground beef. And then add whatever seasonings you would like. I'm going to do pepper and salt, garlic powder. My outfit is so wonky, don't mind me. <laughs> this was my gym outfit and then when I came home I just was like cold, you know? So, got the jacket on. <laughs> and my socks are like pink with hamsters on it. This is how I walk around the neighborhood. Hey everyone! <laughs> I like will walk around in my pajamas or anything. I do not care. That's garlic powder. And then this is Italian. Mm, Italian seasoning. And some red pepper flakes. Add this with your heart. If you like spice, add more. Or you could add it, you know, at the end. But it's, it's good when it cooks in with it. And let's mash this all together. I'm gonna turn it to like medium high heat. I'm gonna also clean up the mess I just made. I might stream tonight. I've been so bad at like streaming. Cause like if I just stream for like 30 minutes, people are like mad at me. And it's like to get situated and like play a game. It's like I almost don't have time to like sit around and play games anymore. Cause like if I just go on, like by the time I get on, go live and get like my crowd together, <laughs> it's like it takes it's like a two hour commitment and I feel like I don't have time to just like sit around and do that I mean it's like hard right now because Mochi's still a puppy so I'm gonna add a little more oil Mochi's still a puppy she's like almost fully potty trained but I don't know she's like it, it's just fully needing attention and me being by myself it's like I can't just sit there and play on my computer with headphones on and like ignore my dogs. It's very hard. Like if I still lived at home and like I didn't really have anything to do the rest of the night, I don't know. I just cook and clean. 
on repeat and edit on repeat. There's just like a lot to do. But I still will twitch. Like I'm, I'm still going to. I just need to get better at like doing it. If that makes sense. <laughs> like I just get stressed about like my time and my dogs. And I'm very like, I can't focus at all. So it's hard for me to like play when my dogs are like going crazy in the background. And then also I play upstairs. So then if they do have to go outside, I have to come all the way down. And then now that the weather is warming up, they want to play outside and you know. So it's just been hard. But I've been posting a ton on my vlog channel, which I've been loving. So I hope you guys are too. So the next step is going to be once meat is almost cooked, which it still needs a bit. I'm going to probably turn the heat up. Mm, it's looking good though. It smells good. Once meat is almost cooked, we're going to add in tomato paste, marinara sauce, chicken broth, and heavy cream. I love how I typed out my own instructions because I understand them really well. And I hope you guys can too if you save my stuff down because it takes me a little bit to type everything out. And then I, I like to add like cute clip art and make it look adorable. So, hope you guys enjoy that. I use the app Canva to do all that. It's like my favorite app. I have the yearly subscription. I think it was like 50 bucks for the year. And you get all the clip art and all that fun stuff. But I love it. I'm getting the stuff ready. And always, when your marinara sauce is low, put some water in there and shake it up. Because I was at one and a half cups. And I was like, shoot, I don't have enough. And I cleaned out the jar. And look, I'm at two cups, which is what I needed. So I'm just leaving some more in there. So, I always do that because water is not going to, you know, really change the flavor. You get more out of the can. Okay, so, now that the meat is about cooked, I am going to take a paper towel and wrap it around my spoon and get, up, get some of this grease because there is a lot of it. Just put that at the bottom of the pan just to soak up some of that grease. Now we're adding in two tablespoons of tomato paste. Oh, splashed right on my phone. <laughs> Yucky. And we're gonna add in two cups of marinara sauce, yummy. Mmm, smells so good. I love how in the comments, my last video, the last cook with me I did, you guys loved it and said it felt like it was like we're on FaceTime. Like, yes. I like these like relaxed videos. I can never get a good angle really, but I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, two cups marinara sauce and then three cups chicken broth. Which, at first, I had all the ingredients in my cart when I was getting everything delivered. And then it said that there was no chicken broth in stock. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. But the organic was in stock, so I'm like, oh, okay. A little bit more expensive. But other than that, organic tastes the exact same. Okay, three cups of chicken broth. Then I have a little bit left over. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. If anyone has any ideas. You never know what to do. That's why I love HelloFresh because like it gives you the exact amount of what you need. Because other than that, I don't, what am I going to use the rest of this tomato paste for? I guess I can make another pasta. And then chicken broth, which I could just look up ingredients, but it's like, I don't have that much left, so it makes it hard. And then half a cup of heavy cream. I don't know if you're supposed to shake half this stuff, but I always shake things before I open it. Half a cup. Make it nice and creamy. We like cream. Cream, cream of the creme. And then we are going to bring this to a boil. So turn the heat to high. And once it's boiling, we add in our pasta. So if you have lasagna, use half the pack and then just break it into little pieces. I'll show you guys what this looks like. And then I'm gonna start cleaning up a little bit. I like to do that while things cook. So that's what it looks like. Okay, it is now boiling, so I'm going to add in the pasta, which I think I'm gonna use, yeah, I'm gonna use, should I use all this? What do you guys think? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I'm 
We're gonna let this cook until the pasta's al dente because it'll obviously keep cooking while we do the next steps. All right, this is what it looks like right now. I turned the heat down to low medium and now I'm going to add in half a cup of Parmesan and a whole cup of mozzarella cheese. Add that on in there, get it all cheesy like lasagna should be. And then we're doing one fourth a cup of basil. And mix this all together and just let this simmer. Ooh, look at that, that is beautiful. I'm so excited. <laughs> so I'm just going to let this simmer on low. Look how delicious this looks. And I'm going to make some garlic bread. And here is the finished bowl topped with more mozzarella and some basil and some Texas toast. Oh, I cannot wait to dig in. It is so good. I love my food, steaming hot. And this recipe makes a ton. So the first time I made it, I ate all, ooh, there's the big garlic chunks. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So the first time I made this recipe, I ate all the leftovers, like, I think like three, four other times. And then I also gave my mom half too, and it made so many leftovers. And I ate all of them. Like, usually I'm not a huge fan of eating my leftovers. Especially that many times in a row. Like, that just shows how good it is. I like doing the big chunks of garlic. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do that from here on out and then dip the garlic bread in it. See, that's why I like how saucy it is because look at that. You gotta have it with some garlic bread. Well, I'm gonna finish eating my food. I like to play on my phone when I'm eating and watch videos, other mukbangs. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you wanna see me cook up next. Comment down below. And I think I'm gonna try and do these like weekly, if not maybe more. They're lots of fun. And I have lots of good recipes to share, rather, whether red, whether that's, oh my gosh, whether that's a simple recipe or one like this, which is actually, this recipe is very simple too, but you guys get what I'm saying. I love you guys. And say bye. Say bye.